Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, I have the other Aaron with me in my world today. And um, I've been running around, and I fell in lava. I lost the Spider Soul Shard, and it was on Tier 1. It takes 64, and then 128, 256, 512, and 1024 for the fifth tier. E. That's a lot of mobs. Yeah. Um, but I still have a few. Uh, the first thing we're going to do today, uh, why don't you grab one of these heads out of here? Um, <clears throat> I got the Vorpal 2 enchantment on a sword, and then I fell in lava, but not before I got a couple of mob heads. Huh. So I want to put them out here on these things as a warning. Where should we put these? How about right by the front door? I was thinking like right there. Ooh, that's good stuff. I don't like that it connects to the thing, but that's I am I maybe that's maybe if we put it out one like right here. Okay. I thought that was pretty cool. I had another one, but then I fell in lava, like I said, and uh, oh I no, lost put it on the ground. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm going to have to stand on a dirt block It goes the way you're facing. I didn't know that. Yeah, it faces you when you place it. Boom. Yes. Awesome. Oh, I like <laughs> it. I'm going to have to get another skeleton and then just put, like, one one pair by each door. Oh, you can't put torches on it. Damn it. I was yeah, going to make a little arms. You can only put torches on the top of the uh, fence oh, posts, I think. that's lame. Actually, wait a minute. Can you put it on his nope, head? you can't. No. That's Damn. okay. Um, oh, if, well, you also, if, if you also notice, I put an obsidian pressure plate right here. Uh, we, de we just tested it, and mobs cannot trigger that, only players. Yeah, so, so it's going to be really nice to not have uh, creepers just waltzing into your house. You can have the, the convenience of pressure plates without the worry of assholes. Right, yeah. You don't have to worry about them uh, following you in, and you never have to uh, worry about shutting your door. So I got all the minium shards we're going to need. Uh, this is the recipe for the inert stone. Uh, smooth stone in the corners and then iron and gold like you see. So I'm going to make two of those. Uh, then you make them and you put the minium shards around around them. And I already had this set up. Uh, what is that making? There. That's going to make uh, gravity guns. Oh, nice. It was going to be a surprise, but since I guess we can let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> So we got inert stone, and they're not stackable, unfortunately. That's such a pain when you can't stack things. Yeah, you get you get kind of spoiled. <laughs> All right, where did you go? Let me give you one of these. Uh, I believe you Ooh. can right-click it if you have it equipped. And whoa, what does it do? I thought you could. Um, you whoa, could, there's you a red dot on the bottom of my screen now. Yeah, you can uh, like transmute stuff. It's not working. You, that you're on, I think. Oh, if you hit C, it opens up a crafting table. Oh, so it's a little pocket crafting table. Yeah. Um, That's the, neat. The Philosopher's Stone used to do this. This actually, I think it's supposed to change stuff to other stuff. That's what I thought. Oh, wait. Oh, it tells me it would change this to sand. Do I have to hit M and <laughs> shift? We're, I we're sitting here beating the ground with a stone. I don't, Gosh, I, damn it. I don't, I don't know how to do it. I'm a wizard, I swear. Well, that's not what I want to use it for, so that's okay. Uh, let me get some iron out of here. Uh, we can, we're going to turn iron into um, ender pearls. Maybe if I do this. If, oh. you, if you figure it out, did you do it? I figured it out, kind of. Um, <laughs> if you put the minium stone in your crafting slot and you put something in with it, it uses up some of the charge on the minium stone, right. and it gives you the new thing. Like, I just turned dirt into cobblestone. Right, but you're supposed to be able to do it in the world also. Maybe since I used it, it'll work now. Let's go outside. Nope. I don't understand I'm, how this works. You might have well, to upgrade it or something. I don't know. Yeah. It may not be in yet. I don't know. But if you take um, your iron ingots like this and your minium stone, you get ender pearls. And I'm just going to make 11 of them. And then to make the gravity guns, ender pearls go like this. Oh, yes. Two gravity guns. There's one for you, sir. Woohoo. It's, it's really fun to take mobs and shoot them across the map. Oh, yes. I got a dirt block. This is cool. I don't think I have this mod in my... Uh, in I don't my think pack. so either. But you have the... Don't Pew. you have the portal gun? Oh, how do I shoot it at you? Left click. <laughs> 
if you shoot it against the wall or whatever. Ow. Oh, you. <laughs> I caught it. I put it back. It'll it'll bounce and stuff, and then wherever it lands, it stays. Where'd it go? Where'd you it shoot landed, it? It landed up in the tree over here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have an idea. But you can do it with sheep or cows or zombies. Oh, or... I can't pick you up with it. Damn it. You can pick me up uh, with a portal gun, though. Man, I was I was gonna, I was gonna throw you through the air, but it didn't work. Uh, let me put this down. You may be able to do it. I left to throw you up in the air. Oh. Uh, boo. It... Oh god, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, did we no. pick? E did we pick each other up like Inception? <laughs> it disconnected me because it said <laughs> flying is not enabled. Oh, uh, you move too fast. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. But that's still cool that you can oh. you can pick each other up. Oh god. Wait, I think we just picked yeah, we're we're both this is odd. I'm I put F you down. I F five this. There we go. I'm stuck. I ha I still had you picked up. Ooh, I'm gonna get the Enderman. There's um, an Enderman over here, I'm gonna pick him up. Speaking of Enderman, I did figure out in a forum post that disjunction is actually very damaging to Enderman. Oh, he's all glitching out because it's now daytime. He, now he's over here. We're never going to catch him. <laughs> Can I pick up grass? No. I should have looked up how to use this damn... The minium stone. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. So, um, uh, let me put this away, and let's go over and kill the wisp, and then uh, we'll move the mob spawners over here. And it should take no time to fill up the soul shard once we, once we have the skeleton spawner close. What is in your mega dungeon? Is it just a skeleton spawners or is it a mix? There's a skeleton and a zombie spawner. Okay, you don't have the zombie soul shard anymore. Um, no, That's the one I have. Lost? No, well, yeah, I lost that one and the, and the spider one that had a tear on it, and then mm. uh, I have another skeleton one that only has one kill on it, and uh, that's that doesn't do any good. So I just use that one that uh, it's almost all the way to tier one. All right, eat a potato and let's get out of here. If I you're love hungry, potatoes. If you're not hungry, no big deal. <laughs> it wasn't an option. You eat the potato. Eat the potato, right? So the Wait, other day, just sheep everywhere. I forgot a sword, so I I needed some <laughs> hide, so I just shot the cow straight up in the air like that. Oh, I tried to it, catch him. It didn't work. <laughs> and then it cratered. Oh, oops. Oh, we're doing this again? No, no, we're not. <laughs> I was trying to pick up this flower, but it won't work. I got all the indigo flowers over here. Yeah, we were looking for indigo when we were in my world to make the forge lexicon, because I needed blue dye to make cyan dye. And I had to sit there with bone meal and grow 20 bone meal worth of flowers, because I just don't have any, and he's got them everywhere. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at all this. Yep. Look at chicken. Ooh. I'll, oh. let you, I'll let you have it. It's my, my chicken. All right, this is my weapon. Let's go. Shoot it at the wisp. Hold on, let me get in here. Yeah, go go aggravate the wisp. I'm going to shoot a chicken at him. This is why we're both wearing armor. Where is he? He's down there. Eat chicken. <laughs> that, that was awesome. I feel like it should have cooked the chicken since the Whoa, thing shoots did I kill lightning. It? No, it went up a level. Oh. Ooh, almost got me. That's pretty crafty. Here, you stay down here and okay. I'll come up here. I'm going to hide. Gotcha. Oh no, I fell. Oops. I'm oh, I would have I would have taken a lot of damage. He uh, knocked me back up on the ledge. Got him. Got him. And right. I have a wispy essence, a black one. Beautiful. I'll get the zombie if you want to get the skeleton. Yep. Cool. And do they retain their type? Yep. That's awesome. Sometimes they turn into pig spawners, but <laughs> uh, I mean, well, they they look like a pig, but it's still whatever type the mob was. Right now, I don't know which way is home, so I, I'm over here to your left. Okay. It's a uh, north. So I'm gonna turn this into an XP grinder, basically, and um, it would be really easy with miscraft portals. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way until I find some crystal. Um, I played around with it a little bit, and the miscraft portals actually, you know, they put off light, and it kind of slows down the spawning. Oh, I can't get in. Let me back up. 
Oh no. Okay, it's in. Where I are we putting this? Mine I just set mine out in the front yard for now. Make sure you light it up. Yeah, I don't know mine. where they're going to go. I just figure it would be good to go ahead and move them over here. Found one. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, why while while we have these here, let's um let's make some wrath lamps. Oh, I actually don't know how to make those. Are those the well, things that are just they look like wisps on the wall? Uh no. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know, you'll see. Why okay. don't you um look up the recipe for a craft packet stamper? I think if you just look up stamper you'll find it and then all will um if craft I have enough, packet stamper, got it. If I have enough gunpowder I, I forgot I need gunpowder for this. Do you need a craft packet stamper made? Yes. Okay. Um, and I think I have nether bricks still. Yep, I do have nether bricks, so that's cool. Yeah, I you're gonna like the you're gonna like the wrath lamp. It's pretty awesome. I need pistons for which you're I gonna, need iron. You're gonna have to make some. I don't have any pre-made. Where? So I, Where's all your ore? It's all all the way to the right. Oh, okay, of course. In that silver chest, they're not bugging out like they were in my single player world. Like the the way they're facing, like switches back and forth. It's crazy. Where's your powered furnace? There it is. What do you? No, you don't have to do that. For the block of iron. You can just put it in your crafting square and get it back. I don't have Greg Tech. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, Greg Tech sucks. <laughs> I need some cobble for the pistons. I need some wood. All right. And you can commentate yours. I'm not going to commentate mine because I've already done this in an episode. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just following orders. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just make that thing and then... Uh, I always forget. What, is the, what does it actually do? The stamper? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I'll show you. Uh, okay. I have to take four TNT, one one diamond block, and four pieces of obsidian, and make the craft packet. Then we're going to put it in the stamper, and we'll see how it works once you have that made. Got it. Put all this all right. stuff back. Uh, we're going to need blocks of iron if you have any. I did. Probably need um, at least four of them. Okay. I'll take five. Here you go. And do do I have any glass anywhere? Mm. I did. I don't know what I did you with it. sand? I, no. I, I, I think oh. it's over here by the ovens. Oh, yeah. I already have glass panes. Cool. Sweet. All right. We're going to put the stamper right in the middle of the floor. Over here. And it doesn't take any power. You don't need power. Um, are you looking? <laughs> yep. We put the craft packet in it. Okay. And then it stamps the diamond into diamond shards. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, if you want to take one of these pieces of netherrack, I'll give it to you. And one of these diamond shards. You're going to put them together like flint and steel. Nether brick or nether rack? Nether brick. Oh, uh, okay. Put it together like flint and steel. Okay. And then you have a Wrath Igniter. And then how many blocks of iron do you have? I have five blocks of iron. Put them on the floor. All right. This was kind of a pain because I couldn't place find them out or drop them. Yeah, place them. I couldn't figure out how to make dark iron, and so I had to look it up, which is why I did the tutorial. And go ahead and put down all five. Okay. And then uh, whack it with your Wrath Igniter, and then stand back. That stuff is fire. It'll burn you. Oh, really? Yep. That's so basically, cool. it's going to catch on fire, and the iron is going to turn into dark iron. And if you do this anywhere around wood, it will catch on fire, so you don't want to do that. Oh, wow. That's neat. So I like to dump water on it just to make sure that all the fire goes out. And then we just pick them up with your pickaxe or whatever. Oh, you got a friend. Yes, I do. Where's my soul shard? Damn it. Oh, I just got a shard of minium. Yep. Just put it in that chest and uh, I'll sort it later. Neato. So if you pick up your blocks of dark iron and put them in your crafting grid, then they turn into ingots. Mm. 
So you get four ingots per block. That's cool. And then if you come over to the project table, uh, you take your glass panes. Mm -hmm. I think they go like that. Your dark iron go in the corner. And then your wrath igniter goes in the middle. And I always, I always mess it up. What did I do wrong? That's a good question. <laughs> I just looked it up. Oh, I need silver. Whoops. Let me grab some silver. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, it's silver instead of glass panes, right? Yeah, I, I think forgot. you have some silver. Oh, I have, I have plenty of silver. So you put your silver, then you got your wrath lamp, and the wrath igniter will take durability, but you don't lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and make three of these. I'm going to give oh, you one cool. of them. And this thing will actually, it'll put out as the same amount of light as daylight, and it goes eight blocks in every direction and 30 blocks down. Oh, that's cool. So if we put one on the ceiling right here, is it? can you see it? No. It disappeared for me. Oh, oh there we go. go. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So it takes a second. We can knock every single torch off the wall over here. That's incredible. And does the light just fall off after eight blocks, like to zero? It starts fading. Oh, okay. That's awesome. But right here now, you see it's as bright as daytime in here. Yeah. Um, the one thing about this, if you put it above a quarry, the way that the light the light works with this thing, the the game sees it as a block. So like, oh, okay. it, it won't work if you put it above a tree farm. Your trees won't grow. Wow. Or okay. If you, That's good to know. So, right. But if I put it out here, somewhere, I usually just uh, make a a pile of dirt and then uh, put, put the, the lamp, on, lamp it. on it. Yeah. Let me see. How far am I away? Real Let's tempted right to give here. you a boost. Just throw you in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it down right here. And it's it's obstructed now. Well, maybe it's not. Or I'm going to fall, fall all the way down. I'll catch I? you. I got you. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Oh, it didn't work. Creeper, run. Ah, actually, wait. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I have never tried that because um, I didn't want to get close enough to let the guy explode, and I didn't want to—I didn't want him to explode in my hand like a firecracker. Hold well, on, I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, the distance the gravity gun holds them is too far for them to blow up. Oh, good. That's good to know. So we got one wrath lamp just kind of floating up there. Wow, it looks like so, daylight out here. Uh, yeah. It's awesome. Well, granted, the sun's coming up, but... But still. But still. Um, over here, it does not look like daylight. So those are really good. Uh, no mobs will obviously spawn where that's lit because the light level is so high. And those aren't that hard to make. No, they're not. It's a lot of iron, but it's not that bad. Well, and it takes a diamond block to get the shards. Oh, you get, what, you get 16 of them? 18. 18? And they lose durability like flint and steel, but I mean, I think it's a pretty good investment. Yeah, it is. I mean, the light's really nice. Especially if you like to have really high ceilings and you don't want to put torches all over the place. Those things are awesome. Yeah, because once you get into the bigger structures, you have torches all over the place. Right, and uh, I don't like the way torches look on the ground and stuff. Yeah. Like, on the, on the walls, not They're that not big bad. of a deal, but on the ground, I, d I don't like them at all. So that's all I really wanted to do this episode, and I don't know how long we've been. Let me let me check my thing and see. Probably about 20 minutes, so you want to wrap it up? Is there anything you want to do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have half a heart. I have half a heart. That was <laughs> I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so close. Well, if you can't have fun playing a, a video game, what can you do? What right? are you doing then? All right, man. Well, uh, thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for having me. Are, are we going to do another one after this? Well, of course. All right, cool. Well, um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And thanks, Aaron, for uh, throwing me up in the air and almost killing me. Anytime. See you guys next time. Later, guys.